Hi, my name is Alan. I'm on the PC right now and I just want to check out the new app by NVIDIA, which is the NVIDIA app. So basically they merged everything, the NVIDIA control panel, the GeForce experience into one software. Anyway, to download it, you just got to go ahead and head over to the website or on the link down on the description down below. We can click on the download beta. Let's go into desktop, save it. Now that it is done downloading, we can go ahead and open it up, pull it on the screen. Let's go ahead and run it as an administrator. So it gave me this error. There was a problem with the NVIDIA app, relaunch your app. If that doesn't work, then try reinstalling NVIDIA app and reboot your PC. So we're going to press close on that. And what I'm going to do here is check all the NVIDIA programs that I have, uninstall them, and then reinstall the NVIDIA app. So give me a moment. All right, so basically it took me one restart, reinstall of the drivers, and then the NVIDIA app. So if you're getting that issue, that's your fix. Anyway, select your preferred driver. This is how the app comes in at after you launch it. So game ready drivers for me. Optimize games, I don't want that. Enable the NVIDIA overlay. I'm gonna enable this for now. Redeem exclusive rewards. We're gonna go and click on skip to app. Cause I don't want that. Finally, the first thing that I've noticed here is that you don't have to log in anymore. Like, finally. But um, let's explore a bit more. So we got a driver section here. Of course, we can install our drivers here. If you want to go and switch to studio drivers, you can press that in there. And then if you want to reinstall drivers, you can press it right here. Next, we have the graphics section. So basically, you have your games. You have the global settings. This is, what is this? Wait, this is kind of like NVIDIA control panel, but not full NVIDIA control panel. That is kind of, that is kind of weird, but okay. Shutter cache, we got a driver default, vertical sync off, virtual reality off, power management mode, prefer maximum performance, max frame rate, uh, we don't need that. Low latency mode on ultra, so that's pretty cool. Oh, actually, hold up. Program settings, you have more program settings here. As you can see, if you do OBS, it has specific values for the actual app itself, encoder, that is not present on other, like the games. Now for the games, you got more settings here. As you can see, you got the in-game settings plus the driver settings um, that you can see on the global settings here. Now, if you do want to add the game, you just press on a triple dot, go and add program or add the scan location so it can scan for, or it can scan for games. And that is pretty much it here. Now on the settings side, you got the operating system, your specs, and then the features right here, such as the NVIDIA overlay, uh, game filters mode. Honestly, I don't use those, so that's cool. And then right here, you got the games and app. You can view modify, and then you can still open the NVIDIA control panel through the actual NVIDIA app. So if you press open here, okay, it still opens the old one. I was hoping that they would just mix this all the way on the NVIDIA app instead of having a completely different app. Um, but that is okay. Hopefully they'll do that in the future. But what I'm excited here is the new shadow play. So basically on this new thing, we have the gallery right here, shows you all your moments or whatsoever. You got the record button right here. You can turn on desktop capture if you're not into a game. You can do instant replay, which I mostly use. And now you can also configure the video capture settings from here. So let's say I just want, let's say the quality, I just want it to be pretty low. And then I want the frame rate to be like 30 in game resolution. I just want it to be 1080p and that should work as it was. And then screenshot, you can do that photo mode highlights. I usually just turn this off because this is the auto capture for games. It's practically the same shadow play, except that it's not covering your whole screen anymore. So game filters, once again, I don't do this. So yeah, um, for the microphone, of course you can set that into whichever microphone you want. And then for the stats, this is gonna be the performance mode. It's gonna show you on the top right, the FPS and latency, but of course you can also change the view. So just for this one, I can change it to advanced shows you more details about my system, custom, you can do temperature and let's do view all, let's just turn everything on. This one is very much perfect for when you are doing your own little game stats or like performance tests on games and whatsoever. 
It's only for the statistics overlay, which kind of sucks. And then after that, you got notifications. Let's turn it off. Uh, you got the audio. Here you can select your system sounds. You can select your microphone source. I just always use the sonar microphone. Or actually for this one, I'll use the stream. And then single track format. Video capture. Same settings that we've done earlier. And then files in this space on where you want to save everything. And um, that is about it for the NVIDIA app. That is everything that's new in the NVIDIA app. And um, there's nothing much. Uh, it's kind of cool to see that they're trying to dive onto a better NVIDIA GeForce experience. And I just hope, you know, if anyone from NVIDIA is watching this, their developer team, of course, just integrate the NVIDIA control panel into this app. Since, you know, what's the point of making a new app that's trying to have it as well? than just to actually put it in the app. That is basically it. Uh, that's a short video regarding the new pumped up application of NVIDIA. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next 1.tech video. Have a nice day.